My name is Nelson Lugo, and I am a vaudevillian. Due to the collapse of my marriage, I then spiraled into this out-of-control depression, which then created suicidal fantasies, which then got me committed to a mental institution over Valentine's Day. I can only speak from my own personal experience, and in my I didn't get a whole lot of therapy in my time at the mental hospital. Um, what I got was a pause button on life, which I think is exactly what I needed. I needed, I needed my life to just be on hold for just a small amount of time so that I could like reboot, refocus, like get back on track. And, and then once I was done, I'm like, okay, let's start up life again. I needed a safe space where I could just not be responsible for anything, not do anything, not be expected to say or do anything, or just sit in a corner and cry if that's what I wanted to do. You know, and no one was gonna judge me, and I had a nursing staff there to support me if I needed it. And, you know, I mean, I don't know what the other experiences are in mental institutions, but what I got was exactly what I needed. I wasn't obligated to do anything. There were, classes and coping lectures and all kinds of things that were happening all day every day and I could go to them or I could not go to them. It's, it was really as simple as that and, and I think because I got to put my life on pause and choose my own level of experience that was probably what I needed the most. So I have no idea where mental health is going but if my experience is indicative of that then more of that please. I would have loved an app. I'm on my phone all the time. <laughs> like it couldn't be just an app that 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 only gives you Angry Birds. You know what I mean? Like it was if it was an app that was custom tailored to like little mobile games that I like or or friends that that I trust or if it just sent me like random text like, hey, call your call your trusted friend. I probably would ignore it. But if it said, you know, hey, call Schaefer. Like oh right, I gotta call Schaefer. You know. I mean, I don't know how it would have helped me then, but I know now that if I get blue or depressed or I feel myself starting to spiral, since I'm on my phone all the time anyway, if the app allowed me to play a game that got me out of my head for a little while, or reminded me to call a friend, or had a button that put me like in immediate contact with a medical professional, it's an access to resources I wouldn't have had otherwise. And uh, so yeah, I absolutely think it's, it would be a fantastic idea.